What is going on guys? Karma him here and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today I'm going to show you guys my very first achievement uh, walkthrough slash review. Now the reason why I'm calling it a review is because I did not record the entirety of the gameplay. I just recorded like little snippets here and there but I basically got the main parts of it. I guess you could say the skeleton of like some animal right but I did not show you guys a flesh. Uh, some parts that may matter uh, but I will explain to you guys a little bit, I guess you could say, a little bit of that flesh, just in case you do run into some problems. I will explain how you get out of those holes, and basically you can continue your path down to these uh, achievements. Now I do want to say that this is my very first team slash walkthrough, so uh, I'm just like testing this uh, series out. If you guys enjoy it, please let me know. Now you guys can also tell me what you did or didn't like about my very first video for the series. Basically, I want to improve it for the many videos to come in the future. Now, this game was made 15 days ago, as of today, it was made in May 3rd of 2020. Now, don't think I like, don't think Karma, how come it took you like 15 days to complete it, just to make a freaking walkthrough? I made separate achievement videos, I covered each and every one of the achievements. Um, basically, I will only do walkthroughs slash reviews for fairly recent games, or games that I feel like are worth mentioning. Now, I do want to say that um, this game will take you about 6 to 8 hours to complete. I believe it took me like a little over 6, if I'm not mistaken. I did get a little lost here and there, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, also, I will be um, doing shoutouts to anyone that helps me complete any game that we have in common. For example, I will be boosting for Resident Evil 5, the 360 edition, uh, the Resident Evil 5 the Xbox One edition. A game called Aegis Wing, and so yeah, if you're interested, just let me know, and basically anyone that helps me complete it will get a free shout out. So here is our first achievement, it is called Community Service. For this achievement, basically you'll have to get a tax coin, and you're gonna have to empty the recycling bin. Uh, basically it's where you put the plastic bottles in. Uh, this will be in the first chapter of the game, or the first level, whatever you want to call it. And as soon as you put the tax coin in there, Basically, your achievement will unlock. Now, the next achievement is called Deposit. You'll still get this in the first chapter of the game. Um, basically, you're supposed to deposit 100 golden doubloons in your bank account. And you get doubloons by saving specific and certain types of animals. Not all animals will drop uh, golden doubloons. Uh, the other way you can get doubloons is basically by cleaning up certain areas. For example, like plants, trees, stuff like that. And once you deposit 100 golden doubloons in total in your bank account, the achievement shall be yours. For the next achievement, it is called Save the Date. You should as well get this on the first chapter. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because somebody apparently did not ever get this achievement while completing the whole entire game. Apparently on two achievements. Uh, the way you get this achievement, I believe, is by putting um, golden doubloons in your bank account and you'll eventually earn interest at a random point in time in the game. Now I believe he completed the game somehow without ever putting golden doubloons in his uh, his bank account. So make sure you do that. The next achievement is called For the People. Basically, once you collect 500 golden doubloons, as you see, the tax collector is coming to pick around uh, some of the golden doubloons I have uh, earned. Basically, he's supposed to come around 50 times, and he's going to give you 50 tax tokens, right? Well, he gives you one tax token for every 10 coins you get. So basically, 500 golden doubloons. For the next achievement, you will also get it in the first chapter of the game, or towards the end of the first chapter, I should say. Uh, basically, you're supposed to spend 100 golden doubloons in Pigby Store. Um, basically, this is it. Uh, you should get this quite naturally through the game. Basically, in certain areas, you'll have to buy some seeds. Uh, I didn't buy anything extra. I found it unnecessary. You really won't have to. I just decided to be patient, and I got my achievement right here uh, for the next, like, kind of next to the area where you should get the next achievement which is the bridge builder. Now, I believe you're supposed to deposit 100 tax... No, not 100 tax tokens. 30 tax tokens into a little machine that's going to be right next to the bridge. Uh, basically, once you deposit the tax coins in this little machine right here, uh, the achievement shall be yours. And that is really all there is to it. Once the bridge is done building, your achievement will unlock. Now, for this next achievement, it is going to be the very last achievement you can get for the first chapter. It is called a fair trade. Uh, basically, you're supposed to um, trade with Kiwi or barter with him, as, as it says in the achievement description. Uh, you don't have to give him everything that he wants right there, or 
uh, basically it shows uh, just deposit at least one of the things and once the scale is perfectly balanced uh, hence the fair trade uh, your achievement will unlock now this achievement is the first achievement that you will unlock for the second chapter of the game uh, it is called a personal loan for whatever reason I did not get a lot of love <laughs> for this achievement video I actually got more dislikes than likes which is kind of sad <laughs> uh, especially because like I did describe and I show you how you get this uh, basically you'll get to a certain point in the chapter uh, basically you will have to spend money for a water gun heater um, and you will, have, you will not have enough money just sit around there wait for the time to run out and you will get the achievement now for the next achievement, I believe it is kind of possible to get it in the first chapter, however, I am not 100% sure. I got it on the second chapter, so it's okay. Now as you see here, the penguins were having 69 and they dropped me some coins right here. Basically, once you drop a thousand coins in your bank account, the achievement shall be yours. Now the next achievement is called Money Matters. You'll also get this in the second chapter of the game. It'll be a little later on though. Um, now basically you're supposed to deposit any currency in the game, uh, this is the one I got early on, you'll get it from one of the penguins. Basically you're supposed to put it in this little machine right here for the best deal. As you see when your coin is at the top, it'll give you one, it'll give you three coins for one of the currencies. So once you do that, the achievement shall be yours. Now this next achievement is called Debt Free. Uh, basically this is kind of corresponding to a personal loan achievement. Uh, basically, the earliest you can get this achievement is in Chapter 2. This achievement is slightly missable though, if you did not decide to get uh, a personal loan achievement in Chapter 2. Uh, basically, if you did not decide to do it the way I did it, uh, you can unlock it in Chapter 3. Uh, basically, you will not have enough money to purchase a certain item, um, and you'll basically need some help. Um, and once you start like borrowing money, which is the loan, uh, you'll have to start repaying that debt every certain amount of in-game days. Just pay the debt early. It'll ask you like, hey, do you want to pay the debt early? Just press A and you'll start repaying it every certain amount of in-game days. And once you're done with the debt, uh, the achievement will unlock randomly right here. Uh, this is where I got it. And basically the achievement shall be yours. Now this next achievement is called Baru de Sage. It is a French title achievement. I know my French sucks, but I really tried. Anyways. For this achievement, you are supposed to deposit all the currencies in this little machine here. Um, you'll get the first currency, like I said, in chapter 2 of the game. You'll get it from one of the penguins. Basically, you have to put it in here. Uh, this is where I got the money matters achievement, of course. But you do not have to put it for the best deal. However, I did it for the giggles. <laughs> Anyways, you'll get the next currency somewhere around here. If not, for sure, in this little area. Now, I did also apologize in this video that I did not basically record all the drops for the uh, the currencies but I did show you guys to the best of my ability where you can get them. Now you'll get your last currency right here in this little area of chapter 2. This is the last and final area where you'll get the currency. Basically you're, you're supposed to get three currencies in chapter 2. Now for the next currency as you see if you pause the video you see that I deposited a teal coin. Uh, I believe you can get that at the spawn point of the third and final chapter of the game. If not for sure, you can get it in this little area. As you see, that little squirrel that was running around, he shows a little tilt coin. Basically, once you save him, uh, he will drop you that tilt coin. And basically, once you deposit in that little machine, there you go, it's gonna start collecting, or it's gonna start stacking for the achievement, right? And the next area that you can get this uh, other, um, what do you call it? The other currency is called the Euro. I believe you can get it in the third little checkpoint, if you wanna call it, third or fourth. If not, you can also get it, I believe, right here, which is where you'll tame the goat. Now, w once you see that I put it in there, you see that the achievement unlocks. And I also did apologize here in the video, like, you know, hey, I'm sorry, like, I, I didn't show all the drops, but I will show you where you can find these little currencies. So, like I said, I'm going to show you right now. Um, but yeah, uh, if you did not get the Euro, you'll get it for sure over here. It's called a Tiger Cave. Now, I should have mentioned that there's only two other currencies that you need to find in the third and final chapter, which is that teal color coin and the uh, the euro. So basically, once you find all that, guys, the achievement will unlock as long as you put him in that little machine, right? Now, this is going to be the final achievement you will get. Now, real quick, this is the first tiki head right here. The second one is right there for the, the batteries. Now, this achievement is called Charity Champ. Basically, you'll come a point in the game uh, where you have to charge uh, 10 batteries and I will show you all the locations. Your third tiki head is right there and your fourth one is right there between those two trees. 
basically you have to like charge all your batteries all 10 of them and you're supposed to place them in the portal and once you place them in the portal uh these litter bugs will go home they're gonna teleport there so basically once you do that you will uh you'll get the achievement early right you won't have to complete the rest of the game that is it that is your last achievement you can just delete the game and pretend you never played it um however i did decide to complete the rest of the game just for the heck of it but anyways your fifth ticket head will be up here i did try showing you guys from the bottom but unfortunately i did not but whatever that is what it is now your sixth ticket head is going to be around tiger's cave which is the area after this little bridge over here now the ticket head should be around where the vending machines are um it's going to be right there actually next to that rock uh, anyways, so you'll see your 7th Seeker Head over there, close to the portal, I will shoot over there. Uh, unfortunately, at this point of the game, I was kind of a little bit of a noob, even still, on the 7th, the, the third and final chapter, I was thinking about the Tiki Heads, that is your 7th Tiki Head. And you will now have to basically go to, um, where you tame this little goat, it's gonna be around that area for the 8th Tiki Head. I will warn you guys, there was a little bit of a weird cut. I don't know what happened. It was probably some sort of editing problem. I just didn't catch it early on. And uh, basically, the I think the clips were out of order now that I think about it. But yeah, your ASTG head will be right there where you clear that little area for the, the lava pit, if you want to call it. So yeah. Now your ninth ASTG head will be around like the third last area, I guess you could call it. Like I said, I think the clips are out of order. So you see this one is still glowing. Uh, as you see, I charged a dead battery right now. Uh, but this, this is your ninth seek head, and I do want to say like the reason why I recorded from the uh, like the spawn point is because like the spawn point's easy. I believe everyone should know where the spawn point is. I just wanted to go to a point where it was a little less confusing. Like I said, that little weird cut. I went on the tiger. All of a sudden, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the goat now. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's a weird cut. Um, but the the first seek head, it, it was probably not the first one i i should tell you your first tk head should have been the very last one that i'm showing uh but like i said i went to the spawn point because i believe everyone should know where it is i'm just making things a little less complicated well maybe i made more i don't know but this is your final tk head so once you do that all we have left to do is basically we have to place the charged batteries uh on the portal and once you place them you'll get like a little cutscene, and your achievement will unlock now guys, like I said, this is the very first achievement review slash walkthrough that I ever I have ever done. I know I sound a little bit tired, I know, I'm sorry about that. Um, but if you guys really enjoyed it, if you think I deserved it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. And as always, I'll see you guys later.